Welcome back to Martian Gothic Unification. Alright, I've looked at the walkthrough again, because at this point in the game, you want to use the walkthrough constantly. Otherwise, you will endlessly be going through obnoxious corridors. Where do I want to go? I think it's here. Yes. Okay, so from reading, reading, reading the walkthrough, I've learned a couple things. One is that apparently I want to send the laser scalpel over to Karn. So let's get that to him. Apparently he can use it to cut some lock. I'm not sure which one yet. I'll find that out soon. The other thing I've realized from the walkthrough is that apparently I already know the password to this computer. No, I don't want to use the corpse. I want to use the computer. There we go. The password to this computer is apparently the number on Matlock's watch. The one that opened her personal file. Why the game expects me to somehow connect this number with the password for the computer? Who the fuck knows, but whatever. Bingo. It's February the 19th, 2018. We're still searching for Terence Whitaker's body. At least, we're going through the motions. It didn't take long to establish that the soil on the grave had been pushed aside from below. And those bare footprints circling the base, then veering off towards Olympus Mons. I try not to think about it. Poltergeist activity continuing. All right, let's see if there's anything new in Restricted. Ooh, hello. Okay, ooh, I think I have the password for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, must be Trident. Bingo. Report from Dr. John Farr, December 25th, 2018. My mind has been wandering of late, but for the moment it is clear enough. So I'll set down a few reflections about the contagion that devastated Vita Base back on August 8th. It has become evident to me now that the Karakarak, the ancient Martians, encoded triplicate bacterium in their bodies to replicate their minds and physical form in any unlucky host. Each bacterium is composed of three distinct interlocking bacteria similar to the three main types of Earth bacteria. Uh, Bacillus, Caucus, and Spirulum. An individual host can be infected only with one strain of Martian bacteria. Each bacterium enters a host separately, but when all three bacteria are present in three hosts, those hosts are drawn together. The Vita team, unfortunately, was not aware of the necessity to keep their distance when the sarcophagus shell was opened and Haraway realized too late what was in store. Once opened, the giant shell released streams of bacteria. 27 of the team members formed into nine transmuting clumps of consciously organized bacteria. During the agonizing transformation from human to trimorph, the multi-limbed hosts ran amok, tearing the base asunder and many surviving humans with it. One last observation. Apparently when two humans infected with different bacteria start to merge or bimorph, some instinct guides them straight to the nearest host carrying the third strain of bacteria. In other words, if two hosts combine together, the third host can count off the remaining time in minutes, maybe seconds. The visions are coming back. Monochrome world, bacterial ghosts. I'm slipping away, losing myself. I'll type quickly before the madness comes back. Everything is quiet in the base now. The dead lie still. The trimorphs are dormant. Those stinging creatures are nowhere to be seen. Oxygen levels have been lowering slowly now that Recyc lacks regular maintenance. The temperature is dropping as well due to damage caused to power core and the havoc following the bacterial outbreak. As the oxygen and temperature levels sink lower, so my unwelcome company in the base becomes less active. I assume that Trimorphs and their nasty little offspring thrive on heat and oxygen. As for the non-dead, something else is manipulating them. I can sense it. I believe that the Sovereign is controlling them in her dreams. Perhaps, for the present, she sleeps a dreamless sleep, and the dead are quiet. Damn, that's creepy. Also, I like how they do yet another hanging the lantern on the stupidity of it and trying to justify what happens with something that doesn't make any sense. That is, when two start to merge, they go straight for the third host. How convenient! In other words, if you get two members close together, they're justifying the reason why the game ends. It's because the third one dies. 
Lame. Damn, there's a lot on here. Okay. John Farr on PA. What the hell? This is what I used to sound like back when everyone was alive and well. Uh. Okay. I have a feeling that was supposed to be accompanied by an audio log, but there isn't one. Ben Gunn. Emergency report, August 8th. I have completed a primitive antidote to the Martian rod oval spiral combinations, which show increased signs of activity. It involves trapping those combinations in a continuous loop, feeding on themselves, so to speak. I've named it the Triune Preparation. Ah, so that's what the Triune is. It's an antidote. Under no conditions must this be tested on a hu- <sighs> There's the bad grammar again. <laughs> Under no conditions must this be tested on a human being's. The side effects are almost certain to be severe, if not fatal, but it's a start in combating any bacterial outbreak from the sarcophagus which the main team members are preparing to open right now. It's a sobering thought that if a bacterial, a bacterial outbreak is released from the sarcophagus, I may have to test this hideous concoction on myself. From Ben Gunn, a note to any who follow... A note to any who follow. Mary Shelley had a dream of a pale student of unhallowed arts constructing a creature made from human body parts. After waking, she immediately started to write Frankenstein. I, too, have had a dream. A dream in black and white. A crackerack dream. In the dream, I saw vague figures from the deep, past, make fantastical alchemy with singing rocks and their own throbbing anatomies. <laughs> a heart for a stone. A stone for a heart. What the technology? What? What the technology? I don't even know what that means. What... Dread hand, what dread feet, who knows, who cares? Maybe mimicking their magic will work, maybe not. When the time comes, I'll give you a head start. P.S. I am in hell. I wish to die. Well, that sucks. Poor Ben Gunn. Another note to any who follow. Here's something I prepared earlier. Thermalizer and centrifuge up and running, ladies and gentlemen. Syringes at the ready. Here's the recipe for today. Pick up a trimorph sample. And analyze thoroughly. Acquire blood samples from infected people. Now, the milk. Before you can boil the milk, you must find the milk. And the milk is in a bad, bad place. Mix blood and milk and bring to the boil. Allow it to cool, then serve. Ugh. If you do very, very well, you'll have a nice safe serum. But it may take some time to work. Adios, amigos. Okay. <clears throat> okay, well, I know from the walkthrough that I need to collect blood samples from everybody. And there's apparently more syringes back at the med bay that I guess I just missed. So that's going to be the next thing I do after I'm done in this room. March the 12th, 2017. I wish to put on record my strong objection to the projected opening of the sarcophagus. Repeat request for total evacuation of Vita Base. Shall not report further unless request granted. End report. Unfortunately, that never happened. It's February the 19th, 2018. We're still searching for Terence Whitaker's body. At least, we're going through the motions. Wait, I've already it heard this one. It long to establish that the soil on the grave had been pushed aside from below. Yeah, I've already heard this and on another computer. Footprints circling the base, then... Alright, was there one more? Uh, no, it's just storage location contents, okay. Alright, what is this? Oh, that's how we control all of the different things. Well, I don't think I need to do anything yet. Let's see. Analysis of tripartite blood sample complete. Alright, so that's the only thing that's been completed. I still need to analyze Trimore flesh. I need one blood sample from everyone. And then I need the thermal processing of alien fluid sample. I think this is something I need to do, like, really far in the future. But I might as well get it done now, and hold on, actually, how many saves do I have here? I don't want to save just yet, but I'm curious. Holy shit, okay. Tons of saves. 
All right, next thing, and get blood samples for, from everyone. So back to the med bay, which is here. Okay, do we even have room for them? I do. Good. Okay, there are more syringes. Take syringe. Take syringe. Take syringe. <laughs> the way I just said that just reminded me of look around you. <clears throat> look around you. Look around you. Look around you. Have you spotted it yet? <laughs> I love that show. If you've never heard of the uh, the show Look Around You, it's just like this really small British like parody of science in the classroom kind of videos, then you should see it. It is brilliant. Okay, is there a vac tube in here? I can't remember. Oh, yes, there is. Okay, sweet. Wait, I can use the syringe again. Oh my god, but if the game doesn't prevent you from doing that and she actually takes a blood sample, you might be able to break the game. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to try it. And I think this other syringe is probably used for the alien tissue sample thing, so I'm just going to hold on to it for now. Alright, well, this one's going to be easy for Karn. All right, he needs a laser scalpel, so I'm going to keep that with me. What you want from me, Matlock? Blood? Oh, yeah, she wants your blood. And where's the nearest vac tube for him? I don't think there's one in here, no. All right, let's head to dorm number two. What's up, dude? Good morning, or night, or evening, whatever time it is. Oh shit, I don't have any room. Hold on. Um, um, well, I already know what the dry belt is for, and it's not for me, so I'm just going to put that in there. I know it from the walkthrough. It's used for the elevator to get down to the mining area where the Trimorph was, where I got the laser scalpel with Matlock, which I don't think is going to be for a while, so I'm just going to shove that in there and give it to Matlock. I have no idea what the hell the needle and thread is for. Well, that's my blood sample if anyone wants it. Well, that was quick. <laughs> really? Seriously? I missed all those shots. How about this? Much better, thank you. Wrong way. Okay, nice and safe. Whoops. All right, let's go. So wait a minute, there's something else in here. No, nope, damn it. Oh yeah, that's right, I need this. And is there anything I can shove away in here? Nope, no room.
Alright, these go into what? The microscope? No. Thermalizer? No. They go into the centrifuge. Alright, uh, can I do this process right now? Huh, look at that. Inconsistent naming. The blood samples? The one from Ben Gunn has a capitalized B. The others don't. Fun trivia about Martian Gothic unification. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can just do the centrifuge I'm now. infected with Done. Cocos, Calm with Bacillus, and Kenzo with Spirillum. Ben Gunn's blood shows a looped combination of all three, each negating the other. In the Trimorph, the three bacterial strains have merged into a new structure. Self-regenerating, self-replicating, deathless. Okay, so it sounds like Ben Gunn has tested the antidote or whatever it is, the serum, on himself, and it works. Okay, so I just need a analysis of trimorph flesh and thermal processing of alien fluid sample. But I'm pretty sure that's pretty far into the future, so I think I'm done with this at the moment. So hold on, let me see what's next. Okay. Take Karn and start heading toward the East Rainbow Door. East Rainbow Door, where would that be? Wait, where am I now? Uh, I have literally no idea where I am. But yeah, I'm supposed to head towards the East Rainbow Door. Make a quick stop at the sealed door you saw near the Broadway Hatch. Broadway Hatch? Where's Broadway? Okay. Okay, I don't know where I am now, but yeah, I know where Broadway is. It's that main line that runs through all the way from west to east. From the black thing over to the... Uh, the orange door. Okay. So let's find that door and cut it with the laser scalpel. I seriously don't know where I am. I need to find a hatch. Is it this way? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Alright, let's see what's this. This is Sunset Boulevard. Sunset Boulevard. Okay, so I need to go north, but I don't know where the hell north is. I don't know which direction is north. It's the fucking bathroom. Is the bathroom on the map from Sunset Boulevard? Is it the one that requires the green tag? So does that mean I need to go this way and then take a right? Shit, I'm out of ammo. That's not good. Um, wow, Karn is like the weapons expert kind of guy, and yet he's the one that has the least ammo and weapons. I have a shitty piccolo with no ammo. Damn it. And Matlock has like what? 600 shots? Alright, is this the Broadway hatch? No, Wall Street hatch. Let me make sure I'm heading the right way. Wall Street, yes! Okay, I'll continue up here and then take a right. Should get to the main hallway at some point. Wait a minute. No, that's not where I want to go. I'm 
That one. Yep, almost there. See, this map is terrible. Like, I just went through this twisty, windy hallway, and yet that twisty, windy hallway is represented on this map as a straight line. So that doesn't make any sense. Okay, this is the hallway, and this is the way I need to go. And this must be the locked door, right? Damn thing's locked. Um... Do I need to cut it from the other side? Damn thing's locked. Make a quick stop at the sealed door you saw near the Broadway hatch. God damn it, I need to go around the other side. <sighs> Alright. See if I can remember my way back. No, not that way. This way, I think. Oh, hi. I love you too. Okay, yeah, this is the right way. Hold on. Damn it, I can't stop. Unless that thing's stuck. No, alright, fuck this. I was gonna try to switch and give a weapon over to Karn, but I does it doesn't look like I can stop. Okay, I think I need to go this way. I think. Well, I know I'm not gonna hit Kenzo or Matlock, so I'm not worried about proximity. What the fuck does this? This doll's jammed. The mechanism is heat fused. Saw the same kind of damage done with a flare bolt once. Oh, I think this is actually the door. Sweet. Seeing that zombie respectfully bowed out because he knows I'm busy. Never bother a man at I work. I hate laser scalpels, but I love bypassing lock mechanisms. You hate laser scalpels? What? What's wrong with you? Um. Are you fucking kidding me? I can't do anything. Arrow keys. Escape. Tab. Really? Really, game? Really? <sighs> I've got to do all the blood sample stuff again. And get the syringes. And come back here. I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Laser scalpel. I hate laser scalpels, but I love bypass. Oh my god. Wait, oh wait, I can enter the menu. That's different. Okay, now it allows me to enter the menu, but it's still fucked. So yeah, this is a bug that I guess just exists in the game. I mean, it's not like a crashing bug, it's not like a Windows 7 problem, I think it's just a plain bug in the game. But, the nice thing is, I don't actually need to open this door. It just speeds things up, so... Fuck that door, we're gonna skip it! And my last save is from when I've already done everything else. So I'm all good. Okay, what are we doing next? Guide me, walkthrough. Let's see. Okay. Stop, t uh, quick, take a quick stop at the sealed door you saw near the Broadway hatch, cut the log with a scalpel. Nope, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, but, yep, yep, yep. Proceed onto the rainbow door. 
When you arrive, the door will be locked, so just take Karn into the adjacent airlock. Okay. Adjacent airlock. Okay, so I guess I'm getting close to Kenzo. Is that where I'm going to be? I think that's where they're telling me to be, so... Okay. So we're going to go past that locked door. Wait a minute, I think I'm going the wrong way. By the way, I gave... I gave some ammo to, uh... Karn. Yeah, before he had almost no... Whoops. Before he had almost nothing, and now he has a Dillinger, 245 Piccolo shots, and 72 Dillinger ammo. So yeah, he's good now. Yep, 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 it's this way. This is the fucked door that I'm not going to try to break open. How the fuck is that missing? Come on. Okay. Yep, this is the Broadway hatch. Alright, is there anything I need to dump? Oh yes, actually. Don't need that. Don't need that. Wow, he's... Yeah, Karn is the one with the most inventory space. Okay, Rainbow Door. Now I'm in uh, Kenzo's territory here. Yep, this should be the rainbow door, right? Rainbow tag required. Mm-hmm. So let's hang out in the airlock. Okay, what am I doing next, game? Leave from there for now, change over to Matlock, and head for Mei Lin's room so you can crawl through the vent. Don't forget to bring the electronics the electric screwdriver. Okay, well it's already unscrewed. Okay, things are getting a bit uh, close here because now Karn and Kenzo are very close together, and now Matlock needs to be in the room that Kenzo's in. So what am I doing? Hold on. So I'm going to be getting Matlock into that room, and I'm going to be going through that vent. The one over there on the right, the one that Kenzo can't fit through. Never mind the fact that I'm pretty sure all the character models are basically the same size. Are their shoulders any wider? They're the same. There's no reason he shouldn't fit. But anyway... Alright, so we need to get Matlock in here, have her climb inside of the... Well, actually, it says don't climb inside yet, there's a trimorph inside the vent, and you're going to need Kenzo's help again. This is going to be very similar to the Shuttle Bay puzzle you solved earlier. Have Kenzo use the chair again, and go to the last map on the slab. Oh, shit. Okay, so Kenzo needs to be in the Moo Chamber. I gotta get in the mood. Which is... not here. <sighs> it's this way? No, that's back where I came from. It's here on the right, yes. Wait a minute, does she have the electronic screwdriver? I do, but, but it's already undone, so I don't think I need it, right? Right? 
I'm going to assume she doesn't need it. Okay, so I'm guessing... Alright, this is the main one where I used to ra raise the bulkheads. Yeah, this is the one that I trapped it between, so I guess the one I'm going to be doing is... This one? Yeah, I guess I'm going to be trapping that between two doors. Wherever the hell that is. Alright, let's get Matlock in there. Alright, how am I going to do this? Hmm. See, right now would be the perfect time to have that door unlocked, because then I could have a straight shot east. But I can't, because the game fucks up. So that's great. Alright, I'm gonna have to go all the way around. Let's see if I can do this without getting lost. Uh, which way do I go? I think it's this way. It is? Wow, I'm actually getting a hang of this. Alright. Nope. Gonna follow Kenzo's route? Yeah, I think I'm going the right way. For once. Okay, and then this way, yes. And then this way, yep, going the right way. Door is on the left, the locked door. Or actually, maybe that's the locked door. I'm not sure. Okay, almost there. Uh, this way. Okay, apparently she can't fit through the door. There we go. Okay, now I'm supposed to save... That's definitely a good idea. I do have saves left on this computer, don't I? Good. One left. Alright, what am I doing now? Okay, when you're ready, take Matlock into the air duct. You'll be controlling Matlock, so don't stop moving. Just hold up on the controller. This walkthrough's for the PlayStation version. But it's the same. If everything goes as planned, Kenzo drops the door just in time, and Matlock will be safely inside the Rainbow Room. Wait. What? What, you mean Kenzo automatically does it? Hold on. Have Kenzo use the chair again and go to the last map on the slab. You'll see a diagram of the ventilation system. Matlock will need to crawl through the vent while Kenzo closes the door behind her. Just hold up on the controller and, yeah, if everything goes as planned, Kenzo drops the door just in time and Matlock will be safely inside the rainbow room. He does- wait, he does it automatically? Since when does anybody do anything automatically in this game? I said go to the last map on the slab. But this is the last map, this is the one where I already trapped it. Surely this is the one it's talking about. I don't know, whatever, I saved it, so we'll see how this goes. And it also says, side note, there used to be a major bug here in the PC version that potentially could prevent you from finishing the game. A glitch would sometimes prevent the door from shutting properly. Other times the Trimorph would walk right through it. it looks like this has, been, this has been fixed on the PS1. 
However, if you're playing the PC version this happens, it probably means your save file is corrupt. You'll either have to load from a previous save a couple hours back, or ask someone to email you a save file that will take you past this point. Holy shit. Um... If, honestly, if my save file is corrupt and I have to go back a couple hours, I'm gonna stop playing this game. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's kind of fun to play because it's totally ridiculous, but there's only so much one person can take. And erasing a couple hours of progress in the hopes that maybe the bug won't be there anymore is too much. It also says, try downloading the latest patches from Talonsoft's website. Does this game even have any patches? I mean, I'm sure if it does, Talonsoft's website won't have it, because they probably don't exist anymore. I don't know. Whatever, let's go. Don't let me down, Kenzo. See... This is a good example of totally inconsistent game mechanics. So the game has already established to me that characters don't do things on their own. You need to do them. Right? You switch to the character, and then you do it. And that's what I did with the last Trimor thing. I had her run, I had her close the door, and then I switched to Kenzo and had him drop the door. But now, apparently, Kenzo this time will drop it automatically? That doesn't make any sense. Apparently, I just pressed go forward, so let's go. <laughs> oh my god! There's literally nothing I can do but press forwards, so... The tension, the ti Oh, by the way. I think she's fine. Oh, did it, Kenza? You're a hero! A genius! Mind you, I never said that you Whew. Thank the gods. <laughs> I don't have a corrupt save file, apparently. Alright, so let's see what the hell Kenzo... D wait. But it's the same... Maybe... Is this not even the air ducts, then? Wait a minute, now that other map isn't even showing up. It's only switching between the two. What the fuck? Uh, whatever. Who knows? Something about a locked desk. What, a, what about a locked desk? Hmm. Does that mean I need Karn to be in here to unlock it? What about this? Storeroom 1 key. Well, that's obviously not the key for it. It's not the desk key. Like nothing in the vac tube. Uh, let's do the computer last. Alarm clock? I saw her with Khan three years back. Her computer might tell me more. Holy shit, rainbow tag. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm pretty sure I need to make a bomb at some point, because I've got cigarettes, I've got a lighter, I've got an alarm clock. Holy crap. Some really exotic stuff in this room. Examine rug. Could be a desk key. What? I examined the rug and she said, could be a desk key? And that was a comment for a key that I had near the beginning of the game, wasn't it? What the fuck? And now she doesn't say anything. I'm confused.
Okay. Now, where exactly does this open up to? I've got to find out how much she meant to Khan before he comes in here, if only to prepare him for the worst. Okay. So wait a minute, Karn volunteered for this mission. Maybe this is why he wanted to find out if she's still alive and what happened to her? Whoever she is? Hmm. Alright, let's take a look at the computer. June the 21st, 2018. I once blamed Martin for our son's death. I wish to God I hadn't. Martin got involved in dangerous business for Allenby, and our son got caught in the crossfire. Bad things happen, usually to the wrong people. Martin said he wants to come to Mars and hold me in his arms. <laughs> Keep your feet on the earth, Martin. Voice Martin. password required. Martin Kahn. It couldn't be anyone else. Judith and Kahn had a son together, and the boy died. No wonder Khan was so eager to come to Mars. He wanted to know if Judith had forgiven him, but when he saw the state of the base, he must have known what he'd find. Khan, I found Judith Haraway. I know you came expecting the worst, and I won't pretend the news is good, but at least she's not being used as a puppet by the bleak spirit in this place. She's quiet and still. I'm sorry. I really am. Well, that explains why he wanted to come. Voice recognition and password? Hmm. Maybe this one is meant... Ooh, I bet this one is meant specifically for Karn. Yeah. Plus, I'm pretty sure he's the only one that can lockpick. So I think he's probably supposed to be in here. So wait, I can't save on this computer? Password required. Yeah. It's not even giving me the option to use a recording on this, so I'm pretty sure I have to have Karn in here. Okay, the only thing is, though, to lockpick, don't I need that paperclip? Uh, did the paperclip get used up by that game machine box thing? Or did I just stuff it in a hatch? I don't know, but I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, apparently there's a key under the rug in front of the bed. That's what it says. I'm not getting the option, though. In front of the bed. Like, here? Nothing's coming up. The key to the desk is supposed to be under the rug. What the fuck? It seems like standing pretty much in the middle of the rug hasn't come up, but she doesn't do anything. Wait a minute. <laughs> she already picked it up. Are you kidding me? Okay. Kremlin main hatch passcode. I don't know what the hell that is for. I don't know what the Kremlin is. It sounds like some sort of a monster. It sounds like a cheap knockoff version of a gremlin. It's the Kremlins! Alright. Well, I don't need that anymore. Don't need that. 
don't know if I need two radios, but just in case, I guess I'll keep it. That's about all I can spare. Okay, so yeah, now I'm supposed to take her back to the labs, and apparently the only way to get out of here is to use the rainbow tag on the door, because obviously I can't go back to where the Trimorph was, or I'll die. Wait. Wait, the walkthrough said use the rainbow tag to exit the room, but it didn't ask me to. It just opened. Exit the room by using the rainbow tag and take Matlock back to the labs. Um... Okay, that's weird. Well, now I have an extra rainbow tag for the other room? Yeah. Okay. Should I go in there? I mean, I'm gonna be running right by it. Uh... I don't know, whatever, I'll just follow the tutorial. Back to the labs it is. Wrong way. Hold on just a second, let me check what's in this hatch. Okay, nothing good. Apparently I'm shooting the thing on the ground, even though I'm not aiming at the ground. Okay, that makes no sense, but sure, why not? Now, if only I'll remember my way back. Don't believe this is the way I want to go, no, this, no, no, not that way. Oh my god. It's like impossible to have any perception of depth and angle from this camera angle. I just have no idea where to aim. How about this? Is this good? Okay, good. Okay, and then I believe I... Yeah, okay, I'm going the right way. Definitely going the right way. Hold on, what's in this hatch? I'll check this one too. Oh, no, 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 shit, let me move. Fuck it, fuck it. I just got stabbed in the foot. And I'm back. Actually, let's hang out in a place that has more saves. Place with a bunch of saves, and it's safe, and there's a vac tube. Okay. Now, what am I doing, tutorial? Okay, get Karn to Judith's room. It's gonna be damn easy, because it's literally right around the corner. I'm so chill, I'm just gonna take my time. Oh, yeah. Wait. Whoa. What? 
Um... Uh... Can someone explain to me what just happened? Okay, I left that room. And I didn't need a rainbow tag to get out of it, but it looked like it wanted me to use an item on it to get in. And then I couldn't move. And then I died? Uh, what? You know, I did get hit by those little shits on the ground. Maybe... Maybe Matlock was poisoned? And she was dying? I have no fucking clue what just happened. When did I last save? Is this... <sighs> this is from before the Trimorph thing. I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Everything's back in its place. Everyone's health is fine. No one is poisoned. Let's save it. I think I need to be less stingy with my saves. And this time, by the way, it looks like the door can be opened. The rainbow door can be opened from the inside, but not from the outside without the rainbow tag. So this time, when I was leaving the door, I used the rainbow tag on the outside of it with Matlock. So it should be opened for Karn. Don't know what save I'm on. I'm gonna go 22. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's hope I don't spontaneously combust like I did last time, apparently. That's better. Thank you. Jesus. Oh my god. I didn't want to believe it until now. Voice password required. Martin, Judith. August the 8th, 2018. We're opening the sarcophagus today. Nobody's celebrating. Some of the guns are missing from the storerooms. I knew that shipment of weapons would cause trouble. In the washroom a few minutes ago, I looked in the mirror and saw a figure standing behind me. The reflection at my back was the image of myself, Judith, standing behind Judith. She held out her arms and said, Be with us. When I turned round, she was gone. The strange thing is, I took it all in my stride. It's a few minutes past midnight. We shifted the lid of the sarcophagus, and all the old evils of Mars stormed out of that stone tomb. Pandora's box is open, and there's no hope, or none that I can see. I watched people clumping together, three in one, threefold beings, abominations. They tore into the rest of us, Utter carnage. Some of the crew went mad, firing wildly. The bullets didn't stop the creatures, but they did a lot of damage to human beings. I've always hated guns. An hour's gone by now, and I'm still sitting here in my quarters, staring at the door. The base has gone very quiet. Maybe those creatures have become dormant. It seems as though I'm the only one left alive. Of course, there's the knocking on the door and the voice asking for admittance. That's not the voice of a living man. Time passes. The dead are still knocking on the door, calling my name. I won't listen to them. I keep hearing only one voice, seeing one face. Yours, Martin. If you ever hear this, and I have a feeling you will, I just want to say that it wasn't your fault he died. 
I should never have walked out on you. Martin, I, I miss you. And as for that blue planet you walk on that is so, so precious to me right now, help keep it safe, Martin. There's a threat coming to Earth from its own cold regions. A threat codenamed Thule. Something's just come in. The door's securely locked, but I'd forgotten about the duct panel. I always wondered whether I'd face death with courage. Now I'm about to find out. All that's left to say is goodbye. Judith Haraway, signing off. All right, let's see if there's anything else left on this computer. I believe those are the ones I just heard, right? August the 8th, 2018. We're opening yep. the... All right, let's open the door. Gremlin door has malfunctioned. Override. Thumbs up. Bingo. Okay. I'm going to stop being so stingy with my saves, so let's save it again, because this game seems to be getting increasingly buggier, and, well, look, I have five saves, so... I just saved it, but I don't remember what my last save was. Uh, I'm going to go 24. Okay, so I need to get to the Kremlin, which is apparently... Hold on. Apparently the Kremlin is the rainbow door on Broadway, and is apparently very hard to find. So... I think I've only seen it once. You have to, like, hug the walls. Let me see if I can find it. I'm just gonna run like mad. Okay, apparently he doesn't care about me anymore. Oh! No, he does. I can't have much ammo left for the Dillinger. Never mind, I actually have... 72 shots. Alright, hug the wall. Where is it? Oh no, I hear one of those things. <laughs> Cannot stop. <laughs> at least it's a mercy that multiple enemies can't attack you. You can only be attacked by one enemy at the same time. I believe it's this way somewhere. Hold on, this is... Fuck, where's this... Sunset Boulevard? I think I might have passed it. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna keep running. Where does this go? Not the way I want to go. I don't think this is past it. I think this is exactly where I need to go. They okay, hug the wall. 